Hey everybody, it's Kelly with blogfeedy.com, blogging for beginners. Today we're going to look at how to change name servers for HostGator. And I know it sounds really intimidating, but it's actually super easy. So let's get going. So real quick, I wanted to tell you guys that you can find this tutorial step-by-step -step with screenshots at blogfeedy.com. And the first step you can see is to locate your name servers. Your name servers would have been emailed to you when you registered your domain with HostGator. So go back into your email that you registered with and search for HostGator. The email looks like this. So the um, subject is going to be HostGator.com, your account info. It's gonna come from a no reply email and the information you're looking for is right here. These are your name servers. And so you're going to want to select those and copy them. And then a notepad, you're gonna to wanna to paste those. And next we need to go to HostGator's customer portal. And I'll put a link to the URL in the notes below. The link is also in the blog post, but it's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash portal dot hostgator dot com. You see, I've been there before, so it just sort of fills it out for me. And it automatically logged me in. You would have created your login and password information when you purchased your domain. The next step is to click on domains over here on the left hand side. And you can see I have three domains going. My new domain that I'm really excited about is Travel Stump Town. I'm going to start a Portland, Oregon city blog, BDX. Uh, so click on this more drop down box. And then right here where it says name servers, click change then go back over here to your notepad and select your first name server Oops. and control v to paste it and then select your second name server control v to paste it and then click save and that is it. However, it has to propagate. So you can see right here, it takes 24 to 48 hours before name server changes are fully propagated. So it's kind of like a seed, it has to propagate. I know 24 to 48 hours seems like a really long time when you are um, excited to get working on a new blog or website. But um, actually, it's not actually taken that long for me in the past and you can look there's a site you can go to and again I'll leave this in the notes and it is on my blog post that you can find at blogfeedy.com which I will also link to in the notes but you can go to dnschecker.org to see if your site has propagated and you just type your URL in and um, it will let you know whether or not it's ready to go. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and visit me at blogfeedy.com for everything you need to start a profitable and badass blog. Have a good one.